Democrat economist Gary Cohen say consumers completely right to be angry over Biden inflation. <laughs> Even though Biden continued to pretend like inflation is not his fault, like it's not his policies and, and uh, <laughs> blaming everyone except for himself. He's blaming grocery stores and everyone else. Uh, but we all know what the reason is. We all know why everything is so expensive. That's why there's a big backlash against uh, Biden right now. Um, everyone is waking up to how terrible his policies really are. Uh, so, and Gary Cohen even has to admit that. And we're going to talk a little bit about that. But before we get started, go ahead and hit that like button. Share this out so we can get this information out there. Subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. And hit that alarm bell so you know when I'm putting out new stuff. Also, check out my link tree in the description. It has a link to my Patreon. That's where I talk about things I can't talk about here. It's also a link to my Instagram and my merch store. Also, check out jjthepsychotherapist.com for news as well. All right, let's talk about this news. Now, this comes from the Daily Wire, um, and I'm going to show a, a news clip um, as well that uh, we, we can watch Cohen and see what he has to say about that. But um, Daily Wire reports that Democrat businessman Gary Cohen, who served as former President Donald Trump's director of the National Economic Council, said during an interview over the weekend that consumers were completely right to be angry about the inflation that President Joe Biden's American Rescue Plan has caused. <laughs> now, rem remember, the Rescue Plan, Inflation Reduction Act, all helped raise inflation. They're doing the exact opposite of what they said it was going to do. And I warned people about that before both pieces of legislation passed. But Cohen made the remarks during a Sunday interview on CBS News, Face the Nation, and with Margaret Brennan while talking about Biden's recent remarks about billionaires, responding to Biden's claim that billionaires do not pay any taxes in the U.S. Cohen noted that the claim was grossly inaccurate and that any billionaire who has an income in the U.S. is paying at least 20% in taxes. Quote, we do a very good job in this country of taxing income. That's what the Constitution talks about. The Constitution talks about taxing your income. He said there is no income in this country unless you buy a tax-free bond that doesn't get taxed at a minimum 20%, whether it's interest or dividends or capital gains. So there is no billionaire in the country that has income that is not paying at least 20%. Brennan then noted how Biden was trying to rile up people's anger, um, rile people's anger up against corporations, claiming that they were, quote, taking advantage of the little guy. Let's talk about inflation uh, for a minute, because I think there are really important concepts for everyone to understand. Cohen said inflation has a compounding effect, meaning as you look at inflation year over year, you're ending, you're adding up those numbers. You're at, you're starting he said you're not starting at uh, zero every year. So if we had 6% inflation last year, and now we have 4% inflation, uh, that's 10% inflation, he noted. And, and that's facts. And and, and they, they ignore that. They, that's why they say, like, oh, um, inflation only went up 3%. Yeah, it, went up three, it only went up 3%, but you're not talking about how far it already went up. And they ignore that. The Biden administration ignores that. But he goes on to say, so if you take a basket of groceries at the beginning of 2020, just a simple basket of groceries that cost $100, it costs well over $125 today because th those 4% one year and 7% one year and 7% the next year, they add up. They're cumulative. Uh, so they're a huge cumulative effect to inflation. Brennan responded, so... When people are being told consumers you're wrong, inflation's heading, no, they're right. It's actually more expensive. They're completely right, Cohen responded. They're completely right. Um, Cohen added that consumers were angry because they were losing purchase power because of inflation and people were not able to invest in their futures because of the high interest rate uh, environment that was triggered by the inflation that Biden caused. So... He quote, he says, so 
people got very frustrated because the cost of their everyday lives got very expensive and the cost of investing in their future by buying a home got nearly impossible, he added. And I have absolutely not one thing to argue against what he made in those statements. Everything that he said was completely accurate, was completely true. I find no fault in any of those words he said. And um, and we got we got another clip here. So he goes on to talk about the um, compounding effect. So I'm gonna play this clip here. But the president is tapping into at least a perception that wealthy people have um, far more of an advantage and that corporations are taking advantage of the little guy. I mean, he went down to the 10 percent fewer Snickers in the bag he analogy did. in did. his speech, basically saying you're getting ripped off. So uh, what do you make of, of that idea, though, and, and the explanation he's trying to make for why people are experiencing inflation, even though the rate is coming down? Well, let's let's talk about inflation for a minute, because I think it's a really important concept for everyone to understand. Inflation has a compounding effect, meaning as you look at inflation year over year, you're adding up those numbers. You're not starting at a zero every year. So if we had 6% inflation last year, 7% inflation, and now we have 4% inflation, that's 10% inflation. So if you take a basket of groceries at the beginning of 2020, just a simple basic basket that cost $100, it costs well over $125 today because those 4% one year and 7% one year and 7% the next year, they add up, they're cumulative. So there's a huge cumulative effect inflation. So when people are being told, consumers, you're wrong, inflation said, no, they're right. They're completely <laughs> it is right. Actually they're completely expensive. right. And what they're more right about is we at least finally have gotten to the position where wage growth is faster than inflation. But we had not been there until the last few months. So yeah. people were losing purchasing power, and that's why people were angry. And then take on top of that the high interest rate environment, where if you thought you might have been in a position to buy a house because you save money, you go out to get a mortgage at 7 or 8%, you can't afford a house. Mm -hmm. So people got very frustrated because the cost of their everyday lives got very expensive, and the cost of investing in their future by buying a home got nearly impossible. So all facts, all facts. And this is what Bidenomics is doing to everyone. And this is why, um, and, and I'm going to be honest, I love that this is happening because it's waking a lot of people up to the destruction um, that these leftist policies is, will uh, cause this country. But let me know what you think. Leave your comments down below. Like, share, and subscribe, and check out JJ, the psychotherapist.com for the latest news. Until next time, peace.